Chapter 6 Stampede Wow, whispered Jack and Nanny together. Black Hawk looked silently at the grazing buffalo. Hand me the research book, said Jack. And then lifted Teddy out of the bag. Then she stood the book out and gave it to Jack. He found a picture of a buffalo herd. He read to it himself. The true name of the buffalo is bison. At the beginning of the 1800s, there were 40 million bison on the Great Plains. 100 years later, they were less than 300. Almost all had been killed by white hunters and soldiers. Jack looked back at the vast herd. As far as he could see, there was nothing but buffalo. Now Jack was knew for certain that that come to the time before the white settlers and soldiers had arrived, before the end of the great buffalo herd. I have been on many hunts, Black Hawk said, his eyes still on the buffalo. Were you scared? said Jack. Black Hawk looked, shook his head. You're really brave, said Danny. Black Hawk smiled prouder. I'll show you how a brave hunter moves, he said. He slid off his pony. Wait, your grandmother said not to hunt, said Danny. Perhaps you don't have your wolf suit. I'm not afraid, said Black Hawk. I don't think you should go down there, said Jack. There's no grown ups around. But Black Hawk wasn't listening. He began creeping on all fours toward the buffalo. I have a feeling something bad is going to happen, said Danny. Jack had the same feeling. He looked back at the book. A bison can weigh 2,000 pounds and stand six feet high. It, if one becomes alarmed by a hunter, he might start running instead of a terrifying stampede. Jack, Jack looked back at Black Hawk. He was creeping closer and closer to the herd. Jack Hawk pounded. He went to shout, Come back! But he didn't want to scare any of the huge, fierce looking animals. Keep his eyes on Black Hawk. Jack handed the plane's book to Annie. She slid it back into the bag beside him. Black Hawk ju- stopped just as he was passing the nearest buffalo. His eyes grew shut. His nose wrinkled up. His mouth opened. <coughs> What's he doing? asked Jack. Ah, ah, choo! Black Hawk sneezed. Uh oh, said Annie. The huge buffalo jerked his head up. It made a Low mooning sound. Manny pointed his horns and charged. Watch out! cried Jack. Black Hawk threw himself out of the way of the charging buffalo. A ripple went through the herd as another shaggy animal looked up. Other shaggy animals looked up. Suddenly, Teddy jumped out of Annie's arms, landed in the tall grass, and ran toward the buffalo. Teddy shouted Danny. The dog tore down the hill. He bounced along the edge of the herd, barking furiously. Teddy, come back! cried Danny. She slid off her pony and ran after Teddy. Jack tried to see Black Hawk. The boy was still dodging the running buffalo. He looked tired. Jack took a deep breath. Go to Black Hawk, he said, nudging somewhat. Sunlight with his knees. The golden pony charged down the slope. He ran between the buffalo. Black Hawk! Jack shouted. Black Hawk started running towards sunlight. The buffalo swerved behind him. Sunlight glowed as Black Hawk got near. The boy threw himself over the golden pony's back. He held on to Jack as the sunlight revered away from the buffalo and ran back up the slope. Where's Annie? Jack cried as they reached the top. There, said Black Hawk, pointing. Annie was surrounded by buffalo. Come, buffalo. She was patting them and talking to them. The buffalo near her had stopped running too. The ones beyond those started to calm down. Then, he, then, he, then others. Up to all the buffalo had stopped running, they began grazing again. 
as if nothing had happened. Chapter Seven: White Buffalo Woman. She has good medicine," said Black Hawk. "And doesn't have any medicine," Jack said. "She just has a way with the animals." Black Hawk was silent. He climbed back on his waiting pony. Then he rode down to a den. Jack followed. Any pony trailed behind. Any turned to Jack and Black Hawk as they rode up to her. On her face was a Was a look of amazement. You won't believe what happened," she said. "You stopped the stampede," said Black Hawk. "But it wasn't just me," said Danny. "What do you mean?" asked Jack. "I was trying to find Teddy," said Danny, "and I got in the way of the buffalo. I couldn't couldn't escape, so I held my hand and shouted, 'Stop!'" Then, out of nowhere, a beautiful lady in a white leather dress came to help me. You saw a lady in white? Asked Black Hawk. His eyes had grown wide. Yes, said Danny. She held up her hands, and the buffalo stopped running. Then she disappeared. Where's Teddy? Said Jack, and gasped. I don't know. I forgot about him. She said, Teddy, Teddy. Ah, ah. The little dog came bounding out. Of the grass toward them, and is scooping up. Teddy, 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 Teddy licked her face all over. Where did you go? And he asked him. Did you see the beautiful lady too? That lady does not live on this earth. Black Hawk said softly. What do you mean? Said Danny. You saw the spirit of white buffalo woman. He said. What do you mean, spirit? Said Jack. You mean like a ghost? Black Hawk turned his pony around. Let's go back. Let us go back. He said, "We must tell Grandma." And he put Teddy in Jack's bag. Then she climbed on her pony, and they took off. Behind them, the buffalo grazed peacefully on the plains.